Good stuff. Uh, I've been I've been looking forward to talking to you. I think uh, you've been on top of what's happening over around the Okefenokee uh, Swamp. You want to give us an update on that? Well, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers received 60,000 comments opposing that thing, but turns out that don't matter because the Corps decided, oh, well, we, we, there, there are no waters of the U.S. near there. We have no oversight. We're doing nothing. Hmm. Nothing. They completely advocated their responsibility, which means the only thing standing between those coal miners from Alabama that want to mine titanium for paint too, too near the Oki Finoke. The only thing standing between them and the swamp is the state of Georgia. Wow. Because they have five permit applications. I've managed to get four of them out of uh, EPD. And uh, <clears throat> so if the state of Georgia denies any one of those permits, they're going to have an issue. Okay, so that would stop them effectively. If, I believe so. Okay. All right. Well, how can we help? You can write or call the governor of the state of Georgia, mm -hmm. Brian Kemp. I'm sure you must have met him. I've heard of him a couple of times. Yeah. <laughs> I sent him the letter. I haven't heard back. I'm going to try calling up there today. And uh, please don't just stop with the governor because, you know, if the governor listened to what the little people said, a lot of things would be different in this state. So mm. try talking to other people that he might listen to, like businesses that uh, he listens to, or elected officials. Yeah. Uh, state House member John Corbett, mm -hmm. his district includes that, that area of the swamp. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. yep. And uh, not just him, but uh, also there's going to be a new state senator, Russ Goodman. Mm -hmm. Now, his district goes to Clinch County, which is part of the swamp, not actually the mine, but still it's part of the swamp. Right, right. And meanwhile, um, you know, our incumbent senator, <laughs> Ellis Black, mm -hmm. he's still in there, so try talking to him. And all the other uh, state house members around now, the uh, the state senate member who whose district actually includes it is Tyler Harper. Mm -hmm. Last time I talked to him, he was sitting on three sides of the fence. <laughs> yeah, uh, which was quite impressive. Yeah, that's a pretty good feat there, though. But now that Georgia is all that stands in the way, I think it's time for our elected officials officials to get off the fence and protect the local, national, international treasure of the Okefenokee Swamp, which contributes more than $60 million and 700 jobs to the economy, more than any other national wildlife refuge in Georgia or in Florida. Mm -hmm. for, so for both Georgia and Florida, this is very important, and we don't need to have uh, coal miners getting titanium dioxide for paint affect the swamp. How many acres would they encompass? Uh, do you know if they if they were successful and they started their mining operation, how much how many acres of, of it would it affect? Well that's a very good question. They say, oh we're only doing this little bit here, but that even in their permit application says it's a demonstration. Mm. And they say we're we're three miles from the swamp. Oh yeah, on their demonstration. Yeah. And even that, the wastewater has got to go somewhere. West mm. it goes into the swamp, east it goes into St. Mary's River. And, of course, the swamp is the headwaters of both the St. Mary's and the Samani River. Right. And um, uh, uh, the, uh, in, speaking of incumbent, Senator, U.S. Senator Perdue wrote to the Fish and Wildlife Service asking some questions. Fish and Wildlife were very clear. As they continue, and can you imagine that stop if they get to take this little nibble? No. As they continue north on the land they've got, they will get closer to the swamp till they're 400 feet from the edge of the swamp. Mm. That, that's mm -hmm. a little close. That's within the stone's throw of the swamp. Yeah. But that's not even all, because north of them, there's a much larger property owned by a fellow who really likes mining. He tried to get his property involved back when DuPont wanted to do this 20 years ago. So if they get started, what's to stop a continuation of this project way up to, you know, that next property goes all the way up to the, uh, right near where the headquarters of the refuge is. Wow. So it's a big risk. And, you know, it's, as Fish and Wildlife Service also spelled out, it's the responsibility of the miners to prove it would not risk the swamp. And for a number of reasons, many of which I spelled out in my letter to the governor, they have not done that. Yeah. Sometimes when you don't, when you struggle to find something to say, you can't say it, right? Well, I mean, <laughs> you know, right. They can't defend the position, so they don't say anything. I think, sir, the, uh, the, the president of this company was also behind a biomass plant in Franklin County, mm -hmm. 
which uh, the Franklin County Commission was for it to start with, but it got so bad with air pollution that the County Commission threatened legal action. It also caused a massive fish kill, and the state of Georgia had to actually pass a law to stop them burning railroad ties with all that creosote getting into the air. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and, and also, the same company, Twin Pines Minerals, LLC, is still under a Florida consent order for spilling wastewater in Florida and a number of, uh, and several other infractions. And Hurricane Irma, those were the only non-military spills in the, in the Suwannee River Basin in Florida. Mm. Mm -hmm. So do we need these people experimenting with our water and air anymore? I don't think so. Well, I can tell you the answer to that is no, from my perspective, so I agree with you on that. Uh, can you up?